The Caribbean, mere mention of this balmy paradise evokes images of endless white sand beaches and gentle trade winds. But today, islanders are as likely to talk of trade wars and an endless struggle against outside exploitation. These Caribbean islands, like Dominica, have often been portrayed as paradise and spots of the world. And the packaging of these islands often bears very little relationship to the reality of these islands. Because the truth is, people who live in these islands like Dominica have to get up in the morning and go to work, have to wash the children, have to tend the house. And if a visitor were made aware of these things, I think they would have a much different attitude. They would be much more of a partner, much more of a friend rather than a tourist. A tourist is somebody who comes and visits and pays and goes. A friend is somebody who comes, sees, talks, listens, understands, and takes away memories. And if we can get people to see us in that light, I believe we have an opportunity to blend that tourism with the opportunity for a sustainable, decent livelihood here. Atherton Martin was born here on Dominica. Educated as an agronomist, he is justifiably proud of Dominica's reputation as the nature island of the Caribbean. A year and a half ago, we found out that there was permission being given to a mining company to come here to look for copper, and that it would involve the movement of vast quantities of soil and rock in our central forest reserve, which is the area that feeds this river that is right around us here now. We decided that if we started losing our trees and we lost our rivers, lost our water, we'd lose our fish, we'd lose our capacity to live here. Extracting copper from the Earth's crust is a dirty business. They would have to pull out about 400 million tons of rock and soil in order to get at the copper that was there. There's no place to put that 400 million tons of stuff except to pour it down the rivers and eventually into the sea. And that is what was going to happen, and that is what would have destroyed Dominica. Every day, mining operations worldwide generate tens of thousands of tons of highly toxic runoff. This disaster we're looking at here would be multiplied by 100 times. And that's what we, we would have had to face. And it would have affected not just the one river in this case, but three, four, five major rivers on the East Coast and on the West Coast. Australian mining conglomerate BHP proposed to explore an area of 30,000 acres. That's 10% of the island's entire land mass. Just imagine 10% of the United States being given over to one corporation. And quite apart from the, the size of the area involved, we believe that there was another major consideration. Mining has a part to play, in, maybe in other parts of the world, but in an island, 300 square miles of 70,000 people, where water is, a, water is our most important physical resource, we cannot afford the luxury of mining. The BHP threat was a rallying point for all Dominicans. You cannot have sustainable development within the nature isle of the Caribbean, and alongside this, we put open pit mining. In April 1997, BHP abruptly pulled the plug on their entire Dominica operation. The Australian conglomerate announced they were also closing exploration offices in a dozen other countries. We would have liked to say that the campaign had brought an end once and for all to the threat of copper mining and hard rock mining in Dominica. Unfortunately, that is not the case. We still have to be vigilant. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's a hero in my books, <laughs> as far as that is concerned, yes. We are remaining alert. We are keeping the communities informed. And if there's any move at all, either with BHP or other companies, to bring this thing back on the agenda, you can rest assured that this time, I think, even it will take a much shorter time to, to bring an end to it. For outstanding environmental achievement in island nations, a 1998 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Atherton Martin of the Commonwealth of Dominica.